Hello, welcome everybody to Blood Sweets and Laudanum, the long awaited return. It's been what, months? Question mark? Uh, at least three years. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We've all aged three years <laughs> since you last saw us. It's probably accurate. Stress, life, whatever else we've got going right. on. Right. Um but yeah, we're back with the the notorious DMG uh playthrough of Zweihander. And we left off on a hell of a cliffhanger last time, that's for sure. So yeah, we need to see how things play out. <laughs> Is Kozel gonna die in the opening moments? I, I, maybe. maybe. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, I definitely left that door wide the fuck open. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Chuck's ready. I am not okay with it. Let's I am prepare. ready. Yeah. Waldo will be mourning. Uh, hey, what uh, what channel are we streaming this on? We are on uh, uh, Notorious. No, we're not. We're on no, Grim and Perilous. Perilous Gaming. No, we're on not. your channel, Matt. <laughs> oh, whatever. I'm tired. And I'm, I'm 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 deep in the beer. So whatever. This will be fun. <laughs> Too old to Seth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. We're yeah. You're right. Too old to Twitch. Seth. Uh, Seth is under the weather. He is yeah. ill this week. So that guy. I guess we can't give him that, that hard of a time. It's not like, you know, last time we tried to play and he showed up or he told us 15 <laughs> minutes before the session was over that he was stuck at a yeah. truck stop. I don't know. He at least told it us. Was or just station, a, yeah. a week ago when he uh, showed up 45 minutes late. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. For Star Wars. No, he was he for Star Wars. That was Star Wars. He was 45 minutes late with no character. Man, I was looking forward to playing the next <laughs> section of Star Wars so I could start being in the player seat. Wrap that adventure up and then I get to play. So. Are we still playing next Thursday? sure no i can't my um mm. i gotta work christmas thing on thursday oh okay who does it who does a thursdays christmas thing are my thursday? only day off so mm. i am here for you guys yeah truck stops dusty vents that's right to make the <laughs> that is right um i'm good the other uh, on thursday the 19th if you guys want to play well i guess that's the week for this that's my hander that is why yeah. the 26th is boxing day up here so that's a that's you know a national holiday for us Boxing? You gotta, you gotta fight someone. No, it's on wrestling day the next day. <laughs> no, it, it's like <laughs> Amazon's national holiday. You box everything up. Yes, you box everything up. It's a British thing that we. That was uh, a great fucking joke, there, Matt. I <laughs> fucking appreciate the shit out of that. <laughs> I'm actually off work the entirety of the the week that includes Christmas and a few days after. So I'm oh, hoping I got, to get some hey, cyberpunk red going. There you go. Uh, I got. I've got. Family. I'm off for two fucking weeks during that time period. So fucking. Hit All me right. up. I'm good to go. Yeah. I have family staying at my house. Oh man, I'm sorry. I'm working swing shift, so that makes it hard to hard to game. Unfortunately. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, I got family here. I would love to get a whole bunch of gaming in that week, but we'll see. Let's see, I don't know when they're leaving. So depending on when they leave, I'm down for some cyberpunk red. <laughs> nice to see you. Get out. GTA. Get, <laughs> get out of my house. I want to play some games. Just just walk around with your robe open an uncomfortable amount, and they'll <laughs> leave quick. It's called Boxing Day because that's when you put everything away. Is that what it's called? Uh, okay. Boxing Day. You box everything up. You're joking, right? Take your tree you... down. Take everything down. Oh, it's it's related specifically to Christmas? Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, uh, we we just leave it up. Okay. Bunch of we OCD leave it up till people. March and then maybe think about taking it down. <laughs> yeah. If you're real trashy, you just leave it up for the next year. I'm just getting a head start. That's all. <laughs> Boxing Day. I'm surprised you guys haven't heard of that. Uh, you know, I've seen it on the calendar. I never knew. What I've the seen it meant. on the calendar. So, yeah, in, same here. Traditionally, I just, I want... up here in Canada, I don't know about in the UK, but Canada, Boxing Day is our Black Friday. That is like the day you go out and you get like oh, the really? craziest deals. You stu you line up at like five, it's four, after three Christmas. in the morning. You get a door crash deals. Yeah, it's the day after Christmas. You get the door crash deals. That's when all the crazy sales are on is Boxing Day. Boxing Day sales. Boxing Day no, week no. we do up here. See, Boxing Day is, it sounds too clean and sanitary. You're cleaning things right. up, putting it away. That's not American, man. We flaunt <laughs> our crap. Oh, yeah. We got it piled to the ceilings. We don't box anything. <laughs> there you go. Demir, Demir says the same thing in the UK. So yeah, it's, that's like the big but sale. Why would you, you want to buy stuff after Christmas? You already got everything you need by then. No, you no, get no. the things that you wanted that nobody gave yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> you go get it on sale. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Yeah, Boxing Day is fucking huge. It's, they it's give Black you, Friday up here. They give you double points on returns, right? Like bring in all the shit that you got that you don't want. 
Yeah, we'll I've give got, you more scrubs. I've got 16 ties I want to turn in for those uh, miniatures <laughs> over there. Yeah. <laughs> but it's funny because we've now adopted Black Friday up here, like when it's Black Friday for you guys, even though we do our Thanksgiving in October. So even though... Well, with online shopping, you kind of have to. It's just a random ass Friday. It's, it's, it's funky. I don't know. And Cyber Monday, it's, every day is a sale day. And it's Boxing Week. It's Boxing Week. It's not even Boxing Day anymore. Or, I mean, oh, that's uh, not Black Friday. Black is. Friday week. Sorry, Black Friday sales yeah. are on all week, so it'll be the same yeah. thing for Boxing Boxing Day. Whatever. Anyways, Even Prime Day lasts like two days now. You guys get yeah. Black Friday in the UK now too. It's funny because Black Friday stuff probably started up here in the last ten years, and it wasn't a thing before that. Like growing up, we did not have Black Friday sales. It was just we watched the Americans do it and fight over TVs in Walmart, and we had our you know nice. Which civil they're the boxing crappiest day. TVs too. Yeah, we had our nice civil boxing. There are like four of them. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. black friday has become such a a scam that i i'd be happy to just get rid of the whole thing i, I never do any shopping on black friday at it's least so bad year... on the people that work retail too my, my sister yeah. runs uh, uh victoria's, victoria's <laughs> secret and they have to be open from uh basically six o'clock thanksgiving day 24 hours so like That's they're so from <laughs> yeah it's it's ridiculous yeah I used to be a manager of a Foot Locker, and my very first day as manager, I, I just got promoted, and I was going to a new site, and I had never opened a Foot Locker store in my life. I was always closing, <laughs> and they were short-staffed, so I opened on Black Friday for the very first Ooh. time by myself. Ooh. God, I'm, we're <laughs> lucky you're here with us today. Yeah. Yeah, you're a veteran. Put the hockey gear on, you I know. I made it through, <laughs> and by the end of the day, they knew I could do the job. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep you. I'll, I'll leave that on in honor of Seth, who's not here. Yeah, there Those you go. I'm a Canadian soapbox. I need to have my flag behind me. There you go. All right. So let's do the little roundtable introductions, except I think most people who are here in the chat know who you guys are, but we'll still do them. We'll do them for the, for the reruns. So, Stephen, you you're first on my overlay. Stephen, who are you? Where can people find you? What do you do? I, and tell us about Waldo. I am Steven the DM. Uh, you can find me on Twitter and YouTube at Steven the DM. I occasionally make videos about D&D and how to run the game, uh, specifically for new Dungeon Masters. Um, it's a lie. He doesn't make don't, videos. Don't shake your head at that. Don't shake your head at that. <laughs> it's a lie. I've been Moving waiting right along. Videos, Steven. Oh, come off it. It's been six months. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I will be playing Waldo Lannis, the halfling uh, barber surgeon, uh, and my motto is to cut twice and measure later. <laughs> there you go. Don't you have to have be some sort of a content creator to be part of Notorious DMG? Is this guy, does we, do we need to revoke his uh, card here? <laughs> Maybe this isn't Notorious DMG, <laughs> is it? Oh, oh it's grim and perilous. all right, you got me. You got me. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> no, all right, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, I got your name is Sandow slash Blort Bert. Uh, that is definitely not your name, Bert. Why don't you tell everybody personalities who, who you are and where they can find you? <laughs> I'm Bert Biz Lab on the inner tubes. I run a little podcast, podcast for your ear excitement not video excitement uh called of steam steel and murder which quietly celebrated its 10-year anniversary at the end of october just kind of let that slide by there <laughs> didn't make a fuss over it um i'm playing sandow the uh magnificent ogre balladeer nay storyteller scribe general muckety muck supposedly the leader of this band of misfits um, <laughs> As much as you Leader, can lead cats, absolutely. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. <laughs> That's me. Let's go to Chuck. Very good. I'm gonna need a, this way. Need another beer here uh, soon. <laughs> yeah. uh, Chuck. Uh, Ooh, hey, what are you? Uh, I happen to be Chuck. <clears throat> you got your fan uh, club here tonight, Chuck. I think these are all I, your regulars that are in the chat. Uh, too old to Twitch is uh, Dave. Yeah, he's there. Yeah. Uh, all of them. All of 100%. them. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. That's it. Uh, I am Chuck uh, with the Defenders of Cobalt. Uh, you can find us on Twitch and YouTube and Patreon and Twitter. And oh, we got a podcast now. 
so yeah, I'm fancy. fucking, I'm everywhere. Just look for Defenders of Cobalt, except for Twitter. That's Cobalt Defenders, because the person I put in charge of doing that fucked up. And we're just rolling with it. Um, what else? Download them to, to your appliances. That's it right there. So yeah, I'm Chuck, and I'm playing Kozel, who last we um, left off was in quite a predicament. Uh, mainly, I... I thought the party was going to run with me <laughs> and that did not happen. So I have assaulted several road wardens and I am now fleeing from them uh, while continuing to try and cast spells at them to get rid of it, uh, to get rid of them. So I am thoroughly prepared for Kozel to be murdered tonight for heresy and assaulting a man of the law. Uh, and it's going to be fucking great if that happens. I'm very excited. <laughs> yes, very it's much. It's been a while since I've had a PC death. That'd be. All it right. would be great. I would be don't, thrilled don't joke. to be don't your joke. PC joke. It's not a joke. He's already numbing himself with alcohol. Just. I am. <laughs> I, I'm honestly okay with PC death, but I like Kozol too much to allow you know, that. <laughs> you know, if he dies, that's like the whole framing for a future adventure. You got to try and find someone to resurrect him. Ooh. Is that possible in Zwei Hander? I don't know. Maybe you have to go find some witch stone. <laughs> we'll find out. There you go. Witch stone. Mm, uh, this one or that one? I don't know which stone we're talking about. Oh, <laughs> it's yeah. Uh, sorry. I see what you sorry. Did there. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, so yeah, that was a, a basic Zwei Hander three a quest proposal. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, that was a basic uh, rundown of what happened last time. Last time you guys were at a inn, there was all kinds of shenanigans going on. You guys were having no part of it. You killed someone um, with a sword underneath a door. Is the servant boy? Uh, <laughs> you guys, that's seen... my sword too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah his seen... sword. Yeah, it is. His. <laughs> I, I'm too small to hold it. Um, you guys escaped into the night. Uh, to did you burn the place down? No, you didn't. No. No. Did we try? No. I think I tried. Every, every other party has burned the place down. That's the rumor. <laughs> I've run this adventure twice, and both parties have not burned the place down. But it. Sounds like everybody else who runs that adventure, their party burns the place down. But when, anyways, when Dan Fox ran it for me, I burned it down. And when I ran it for my group, they burnt it down. Well, you burning it down doesn't surprise me. <laughs> that sounds like on par with Chuck. Yeah. Uh, so you guys escaped into the night with some horses. There's some horses in um, in the barn. <clears throat> Fled into the night. You ran into some road wardens in the morning. They were wondering what you were doing along the road. You told them uh, tales of mutants and uh, beast men that were lurking in the bushes that you faced off. And you spoke of a um, an inn, a roadside inn, that all, all had all kinds of strange going on and mutants and heresy happening. And they said, show us. <laughs> and you said, gulp. Um, you failed some rolls. So you accompanied them. You guys went there. You got to this little roadside inn. It was a walled inn. Inside the walls in the courtyard, there was just like uh, a massacre. Many of the uh, the characters that you encountered at that inn were laying slaughtered, bloodied, disemboweled in the, uh, in the, the main courtyard. Uh, so they're like, Hey, what's going on, fellas? What's what happened here? It's funny. You were on a run. You're, you're a little scared to get away from this. I don't uh, remember them being so polite in their questioning. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you guys were very upfront. So we had nothing to do with this. You can even check my sword and, uh, the sword <laughs> that killed the servant boy upstairs, <laughs> the second floor underneath the door. <laughs> CSI's my hander over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah right with that kozel what did you do <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll oh you can re recap or recount oh what you did. man so i knew things were going bad right we were all standing out in the courtyard we had some horses there the main warden was like talking to us and he sent some other wardens out to go check out some things and they were just coming back with bad news like oh hey here's another person they killed over here and oh hey here's another person they killed over there uh, There's so a weird like thinking... skull faced uh, creature in the basement too that you weren't even aware of that they like, dragged out also. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> so I was, I thought, oh shit, we've got enough horses right here. If we just knock this one warden down, 
we can all hop on horses and ride away and they'll never catch us. Uh, but I did not communicate that. Uh, and I knocked that one <laughs> warden down using my spell cack handed grasp. Uh, and then I hopped on a horse and I rode away. Uh, and then I looked back and it was just me <laughs> being chased <laughs> by Road Warriors. I got priors. Uh, <laughs> I got priors. Yeah, I got priors. <laughs> oh, man. So I don't remember if uh, I try. I know I was thinking about trying to cack handed grasp the horses. You were thinking uh, of it. Yeah. I was thinking about it. I don't know. I, I didn't do it yet, but. God, that's where I left off. I thought that I did a bad job of communicating <laughs> and you guys did a bad job of predicting the stupid decisions I was going to yeah. be making. <laughs> Every system well, they're like, you're doing what now? Uh, yeah. huh? What? I'm uh, pretty sure that Waldo is like almost yeah. disabled from poison. Yeah, you're I incapacitated. Think yeah, you, yeah. you are. Like I, I'm uh, conscious, but I'm doubled over, right? So it's all Sandell's fault. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Somehow, somehow, all my fault. He is the leader, and yeah. the buck stops with him. You, you should know not to let me make decisions because <laughs> that's what happens. So yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm riding away on a horse, I created, being chased by road wardens. Where's my map? I recreated on the map for you guys just to remind you. I I didn't have guards, regular fantasy guards, so I just put spacemen with laser guns aimed at all of you <laughs> to, <laughs> to uh, illustrate how we left off. That's fair. Bl Blort's not even really there, but so the spaceman with the laser guns, you got a bunch pointed at Kozel as he's riding away oh on the horse. Goodness. And the rest of you were up against the wall, remember? Sando tried to talk his way out of it, and he did not roll very I, well. I, don't know I tried to did. trip the guard that was about to shoot him, too. Yeah. 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 So we're facing seven road wardens right now. Yeah. And <laughs> they've got seven. their arbalist crossbows trained at you, and some at uh, Kozel. Who's on yeah. the horse looking behind him going, hey guys, are you coming with me? And you're like, no, oh, I'm man. incapacitated and there's a lot of crossbows aimed at us. But I'm uh, still like aware, right? Aren't I? I'm gonna show you're barely screen. conscious. I've been lugging you around. But it's not just that you're incapacitated. You were like poisoned and like. Mm -hmm. And I was dropped from the second floor. Yeah. There we go. The stream can see it now too. So we got about oh. the space bin. <laughs> Who, who have like the Mysterio globe heads and laser guns <laughs> <laughs> represent the road wardens. And that is our, uh, our band of heroes. Kozel mm. on a horse getting ready right away. And uh, Blort's kind of there, but not there. Cause he wasn't here last session. Sandow and uh, Waldo. He's got the little, the little sleeping face. Cause he's incapacitated. So <laughs> that is where we're picking up. I like those spacemen. I need to use them more often. Fantasy. Those and are otherwise fantastic absolutely fantastic god this is gonna go so bad oh i'm <sighs> very excited <laughs> you're very excited i am very excited to see how this goes so i i suppose oh why am i going back to this sorry i'm, I'm messing around I, on the stream right i see than... that there we go hey we're back um I guess we should do initiative question mark <laughs> the situation that we're in. Um, can't argue with that one bit. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let me clear the turn order here and we'll do our initiatives <laughs> because it's going to oh, be that. Kind I of can't, start. uh, can't select my token if I'm supposed to be able to. Okay. I'll update that. Oh yeah. The <clears throat> generic character. Uh, Sandow, where are you? My list. Okay, you should <coughs> should work now. Let me update all y'all. So remind me where initiative is on the character sheet. Second it's... page. It's and it's at the in the middle. Go to the second tab. It's it's a D10 plus your PB bonus. Your yeah, I'm not finding it either. Uh, the tab that says talents and trappings. It should be under the combat section. I don't see that. Uh, there's a combat section? <laughs> no, there's not. What Hold is on, this? It's funny because yeah. even the guys who play on. like almost weekly have a hard time finding it every session. Um, skills. There it is. No, not skills. Talents, talents, trappings. It's a very, as soon as you click it, it's the very middle initiative. 
Ah, there it is. Oh, three plus PB. Encumber how do you roll? initiative movement. So just roll a D10 and add that number onto it. I don't think there's a, a macro for it. Oh, there's not. Ah, oh, that would make sense then. So I add the number that's in the box. Yes, please. Yes, please. Oh, road warden, road warden, road wardens. And you guys have um, four fortune points. Do I need to remind you what you can use fortune for? Oh no, I rolled that really, really wrong. I'll tell the I'll while I'm flipping through the page, I'll tell the viewers what you can use fortune for. You can use it for re-rolling and you have to take the second result even if it's worse you can use it for gaining an additional action points during combat or you can gain or you can use one to uh make a curi a curious a chaos or fury die uh, uh a six face value six which means it basically it explodes and you get to re-roll it and just keep compounding if you keep rolling sixes so that's what you can use fortune for when the player spent fortune it flips to misfortune and then i get to use it for the exact same things here the something that we've been trying on the channel recently is if you want to get involved and you want to change the narrative you can donate 100 bits which is just one dollar and you can flip it from either fortune or misfortune so if you're like hey f these guys i want to see kozel drop in this combat i want to turn all those fortune and misfortune. please do you flip them all right now please do 100, 100 <laughs> bits per per token and i'm gonna have all the misfortune to just dump all of the um all of the pain on kozel so but once i use them usually they go away in zweihander they're gone but because we're doing the back and forth they then can go back to fortune and misfortune and we can pay to swap them back they're always going to have those four or whatever it is that's the, the never players plus one and it'll always be there on the game and you guys can change the narrative based off of that so something that we have been trying here the last few weeks okay let me roll my in initiative. Ooh, that's not bad. <laughs> Ooh. I like that. I like that. <clears throat> I like that a lot. Ooh, I just had a thought. If you were to kill Kozel tonight, uh, sadly, you would not be the first person from Grim and Perilous Gaming to kill Kozel. Uh, Dan, Daniel killed him? Yeah, Dan killed him in something about uh, Marie. Yeah. Foreshadowing. Uh -huh. This was supposed to segue into something about Marie, but I think we're going we're going in a whole other direction right now. We'll get there eventually. There you but, go. But Kozel is shaping the narrative in a much different way thanks to his actions last time all right so first up i'll read uh the initiative order here to the to the viewers because they can't see it waldo with a 15 kozel with a 15 the guards the road wardens with a 14 and sandow with a 13 so <clears throat> waldo and kozel waldo man and kozel waldo what are you gonna do you're muted Let's come down to your agility bonus. Who's got the better agility bonus? Uh, probably Waldo. He's got a. F uh, I'm looking at Blort. That's a five. Why am I looking at Blort? Agility five. <laughs> what am I physically capable of doing in this? Oh, I got state? a three. Uh, as incapacitated, not much, not anything uh, <laughs> now, incapacitated you can still do stuff but you auto fail all skill checks yeah so you can do stuff you're just gonna always fail do you have smelling salts am i actually incapacitated is that what i was given yeah you're incapacitated because i thought i had like that ace to dexterity that check i know coming off the second floor i i know <laughs> so i should have failed that you okay. I didn't want to kill you with falling off of a building. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate that. That's very kind you of you. Like, You're a benevolent DM. You had an eight foot uh, <laughs> ogre who could like reach up and just kind of gently guide okay. you. Okay. Um, um, but yes. Well, if that's the case, I just want to like you... flail and <clears throat> like use splash like Magikarp and try to draw attention. <laughs> Magikarp. <laughs> Pokemon <laughs> references with your Swyhander. <laughs> um do you have like like chuck said do you have smelling salts no are you sure you can start with any in your beginning no trappings? i i let me check real quick but i i mean maybe as like you could huff that and it'll help uh otherwise you need to sleep no i don't have smelling salts 
sleeping cure. I have guess. leather sandals that probably smell as bad. Yeah, probably. Uh, <laughs> but I'm not going to start smelling my shoes. So, so. you want to no, basically you want to create a distraction is what you're doing. Yeah, I just want to like roll my sick and diseased body towards them. And what do you want to do? Do you want to shout or anything? Or what do you want to do? Oh, I'm just autumn. wailing. I am wailing at the top of my lungs like, oh, like just a death rattle. You Okay. Okay. Uh, you seem to affect the ones that are watching you. Um, one of them lowers his crossbow and moves in while the others cover you to uh, see if you're all right. And I'm not. I'm not all right. <laughs> He's, you're vomiting. You're vomiting blood <laughs> right now from all the poison you consumed the night before. And I guess that's all I got. That's all I can do. Kozel, okay. it's up to you. Kozel, it's up to you. You're on horseback. You're looking back. Your buddies are all standing there kind of like shrugging like, what are you doing, old man? You crazy old man. Is the gate closed in no, the front gate's of me? Open. The, the, that's just gate's like, broken. I built. It's permanently yeah. closed on the map. Um, yeah. But it's gate's open. actually broken. Yeah, it's sand broken. Yeah. That's right. So who do the guards just taking a gander around? Who the guards, who do they seem more angry at? Me or them? <laughs> Definitely you. Okay, I ride away. <laughs> okay. Uh, I want to ride out of the gates and then turn a left and then immediately turn a left. Uh, and my goal is to just go around the compound. <laughs> Hopefully they'll chase me and go down the road. And then I can just circle back like, hey, what's all the commotion, guys? But... Uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to spend my turn <laughs> riding around towards the back of this little fort. So it was, it's was. it been raining all night. It is slippery and muddy and wet. Can you make me a um, challenging animal handle test, please, for your... As you're I, riding away under danger. I certainly can attempt... Uh, oh, there's handle animal, and I'm trained in it, so it is. Oh, not nice! To fail. Oh, you know. Oh, oh, oh. oh all right. Switch over. An eight. Okay. Oh, oh so, shit! Yeah. So yeah, you burst out of the gates, and you you do a hard. What was it? Left and left yeah, and left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You basically, yeah. you're all going cancer clockwise around this compound, right? Yeah, yeah. boy. Attaboy. I would go Attaboy. right, man, but like that doesn't sound all right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm really well, sorry the for that. Rain of your horse. I'm gonna get you like there. They I'm can hear you. Do, 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 do. Is that oh, left? Shit. No, left. You want to go the other way. You want to go up. Yeah, I wanted to go up. Well, there we are. That would have been a left, the direction he was going. Yeah, that is a left, a left down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah right. What, what way were you going? Left. Were you going right? Left, well, right. Out of the gates, left would be, yeah, this way. South would be left. Yes. Kozel doesn't even know. I don't know. <laughs> Perfect. I You're finished a door my to jump out of and shoot you. Deliciously strong beer, and now I've just moved on to Crown. Oh, I need to go get. I got rum upstairs. There you go. Are we doing Notorious after dark after this? We continue the party and the drinking. Uh, I'm down with that. Notorious uh, I say night. I'm down with that now, but we know how that worked out last time. Yeah. 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 Uh, okay, Kozel, that's good stuff. All right, so I've got some guards here. We've got a closed gate. They have a closed gate. They can hear you. Um, good on you, Kozel. Yeah, yeah. Atta boy, as uh, Steven said. This guy is going to go here and open the door. But I'm causing a distraction. Well, you they know how to work doors. I ro I <laughs> this changes everything. Uh... I can vomit on more than one at a time. <laughs> Never said that in an RPG we we session have, before. We don't have squares set up. We don't have a grid. But these guys are going to basically... They're going to do their full movement to get over there. They're going to hustle... Hustle and flow. Oh, I need my combat thing. All right, they're 
They are. Oh, they're running. No, they're not running. They're charging. All right, they're charging. So that's leaving three guards on the three of you. And the rest, the other guys, are charging in this direction. But with charging, they can only make it so far, even at three times their movement, to be fair. Uh, but one guy can get out there, and he's going to... He's going to fire his crossbow at you. It's going to be hard. You're moving on a horse. I'm not going to make That's this That's the guy who had myself. to open the door, though. He's got three Does action points. Does that count as an action? He's got okay. three action points. I didn't know. Okay. Didn't know. <laughs> he got three action points, man. He can't, <laughs> he, can't, uh, he, he can't make a cold <laughs> shot or anything, but um, this is going to be hard. This is not going to be easy. I'm going to make him roll at a, um, a, hard, a hard difficulty rating to try and hit Kozel with his crossbow, and then he's got to reload it after that. It's not going to happen. It's not. If you guys want to buy me some misfortune now before I roll so I can have a free reroll, uh, just keep that in mind. 100 bits will get me some misfortune and take fortune away from my players. <laughs> nope. Does not go. Not that I don't have any negatives on there, so that's not with the, the challenging difficulty. So no, it goes wide. Pew! The bolt flies past you, Kozel. You got, hey, stop! Where are you going? Get back here, old man! And, uh, yeah, he's staying there. Yeah, I guess you could... Hang on, hang on. I'm hanging on. You you hang on just a second. I got something for this. I'm just waiting for my phone to catch up, because I've got... For... It's all there. <laughs> just like you. It's all there, Chuck. It's all not... Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh! Did you just buy me a misfortune? You want to die? Yeah, I did. <laughs> all right, Go well, ahead. I'm going to spend it right away, so it... Flips back to fortune, so I'm not even going to change on my overlay. It does change on the overlay, people. Trust me, but... Oh, critical failure! Oh, <laughs> well, no, that's not I... the difficult... Well, no, the difficulty, yeah, it'd be like, a... it'd be like an 88. Well, I planned of... that. I did plan that. He takes mental peril right off the bat because it's a critical during combat. <laughs> right? <laughs> what a loser. Uh, he takes a mental peril and... Um... The string on his crossbow snaps. Exactly as planned. We'll say that. Uh, it's a lie, but I'm saying it. So I'm going to mark this guy so that we know that he is snapped crossbow guy. Okay. They have swords. All right. So that is it for my uh, my road warden's turn. Sandow, you're there. You've got three guys uh, watching you. Well, one of them's now walked over to Waldo and is like, hey, are you okay, man? Hey, are you alright? You don't look so good. And there's two others trained with crossbows on the group of you. What would you like to do? Well, Kozel's safe. Only one of them is outside the gate, so everyone yes. else isn't here. So I don't feel like I need to be overly dramatic. So Sandow is going to continue to try and talk them all down uh, using the his presence and his uh, yeah, societal yeah. Uh, influence. And it's like, look, no fellows. <laughs> We were merely passers-by here. We had no idea of the events. My friend here was poisoned by the good shopkeep. Uh, again, I'm just trying to keep him occupied, keep make it seem like we're friendly, let, uh, let Kozel try and run for it. <laughs> I'm going to, because of the situation, I'm gonna, this is going to be a little bit more difficult because one of your, your companions is riding away on a horse and made a guy, his weapon fly out of his hand and fly backwards. Um, things are not gonna go in your favor or easy uh so this is gonna be hard you're trying to i'm gonna say charm charm test you're trying to charm them right sure hard charm chest on yeah them. all right no problem now uh they are a love of a lower station than myself right yes they are all right so oh shoot come on what does this thing do show must go on oh what is it yeah i get a bonus for that it's just been so long since i've played no that's okay anyone it's remember offhand what it is i want to it's like plus 20 I don't know. <laughs> you tell us, Sando. Looking, is it looking. a is it a ancestry thing or is it a or is it a what, what profession are you? Hmm. Professional thing. It has to be. I am an entertainer, and I'm in a I'm in the part of the aristoc our ah, aristocracy. Is, is it oh, an entertainer? I, th I think it's the show must be go must go on. Uh, is what the the trait is that does it. But for some okay. reason, I've got it. Uh, you can attempt a skill test related to your focus in the arts. 
mm -hmm. to perform for others. If successful, a number of allies equal to your fellowship bonus gains the benefits of inspiring word for 24 hours. Oh, that's not the one. Yeah. Succeed. yeah, that's not the one. It, it's a power that allows me to have a bonus over people that have a uh, lower social class. Uh, what's your profession? Entertainer. Okay. I'm going to start looking. That sorry. Up. Sorry. Oh, maybe if I look under the talents and trappings. Uh... Oh, yes, it's it's silver tongue plus 20 to charm test when attempting to persuade those of a different social class. That sounds right. Silver yeah. Tongue. OK, right. which will make this a standard charm roll for me. All uh, right. Since it's a straight it's, roll it's dropping it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Here we go. Chuck, thanks for the bits. <laughs> you guys, ah, I made it. <laughs> you made it. All right. So. They're going to roll two. Fellows, fellows, please. There's no need for this violence. He's a little crazy in the head. He'll come back around. Watch the vomit. Oh, oh there's more. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Let me, <laughs> let, me move, let me move his head elsewhere. Oh, it's on your shoes. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, you have convinced the three that are watching you to lower their guns for the time being. Their guns. Their... Um, crossbows they're ray guns obviously. they're, they're okay. ray guns they're space guns the three that are on you the others are preoccupied with chasing kozel uh out the gate currently but the ones that were focused on the group of you they have lowered their weapons and like oh hey i think i recognize is that no is that sandow the uh the cho the chocolate boy the <laughs> snack cakes for everyone <laughs> the, the, the smell of armpit i had to keep them somewhere but <laughs> <laughs> all right so that takes us back to Waldo at the top of the turn order, who is vomiting uncontrollably a mix of bodily fluids. Steven, are you muted? You're muted. You're still muted. You're still muted. I'm not muted. I can, I can lip dub. Uh, Steven says, so I want to take my vomit and hey. ball it up with mud and throw it at the closest one. Oh, say shove it up my nose. <laughs> now. He's writing. There we, there we he hear is. you now. Oh, wait. My battery died on my microphone. Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> mistake number one, battery power. Yeah. yeah it, it's all I got right now. It's all I got right now. Uh, all right. Hey, thanks for joining us. Yeah, there's not much. I appreciate it. I can do. I'm already at this guy's feet. If I can, I'd like to crawl to someone who's like still chasing after Kozel and just vomit on their shoes instead of this guy's shoes. Uh, you could crawl over there. Uh, we love you, Dave. Yeah, thanks for joining us, Demir. It's the middle like, of really, the video, I so I really appreciate you coming over here. Uh, I just want to be like a speed bump. To get to Kozel. Like they have to trip over me to get to him. Let's just get Blort out of here. Blort, you're not even really here. Uh, yeah, what did he do? What did he do on his Nothing. Turn? He was in your last session. He's not even in the the compound because he ran out and chased that spider oh, dude and never I, came back. I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's not even here. Like he's lost in the woods. <laughs> Looking for mushrooms. <laughs> Wait, that's cozy. Mushrooms are looking for spider people. Yeah, that that the mushrooms is me. <laughs> um uh, this guy stopped. He goes, wait, 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 hey, where are you going? Stay there. When you try to crawl past. All right. Well, that's all I got, bud. I rolled. All right, Kozel, it's you again. You're on your horse. You're gonna continue to make your way around the compound? uh with them man you? no because like they got that door open now and i know if i run past them they'll know my tricks <laughs> uh the old man's just going around us in circles yeah i'm gonna turn around and go back <laughs> but now i'm gonna go around the <laughs> other side of the compound uh because you're in mid stride you're not gonna i'm gonna say you're not gonna get as far as you i absolutely have. agree because that horse doesn't have a real wide turning radius it's like my old <laughs> plymouth fifth avenue like it doesn't turn sharp it's like my ex-wife 
<laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, and that that'll be my turn right there. Oh, I was hoping you were gonna say that. I thought that would be much better. It doesn't have a real life turning race, like just like my ex wife. <laughs> uh you missed opportunity. I right know, there. right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, that'll be that'll be it for me. All right, Broken Bow is drawing his sword. It's, hey, get back here, his court sir. Get back here, old man. And he's running after you. Uh, the rest are going to filter out and try to shoot you. I'm calling police brutality jerks, on this one. Right? Hey, there are trees in the way. <laughs> we have yet to attack them, and they are just trying to slaughter us. He ran. He, he stole from the Running is allowed. You don't need to kill someone no. for that. You're at, uh, this, you're at a murder scene. I don't scene. want to make that joke. Uh, with, uh, but, oh, I feel this is fully uh justified <laughs> you're at a murder yes. scene where you're the suspect yes. and one of you are is running normally i'd be don't like for, oh they'll take you for questioning but this don't is forget really that suspicious. i cast magic at them so i could escape they don't know it was you you just lubricated two fingers that could have been for anything <laughs> this is for my pleasure <laughs> i'm doing i'm doing i'm doing cold shots Matt, I, I love you as a GM, and I'm not criticizing you, but oh, I am calling police I, brutality I on it's this. All, it's all good. It's all good. All right, so I hit you with one attack. I hit you with one. I don't have any misfortune to make it a six. Oh man, Chuck, don't don't buy any more bits, please. <laughs> I'm I'm out of money on that. Okay, so don't safe. yeah, don't buy any more. Let's uh, just let's take it. Did you on Sunday night? I rolled thirty three points of damage. Thirty three. I had like God, five sixes. Damn. I rolled in a row. And That's then the damn player was a halfling and is like, I rolled the ancestral trait where if I spend a fortune, <laughs> a fortune, not a fate, I negate all damage done to me. And I was like, mm -hmm. what the? Are you serious? We had to yeah. stop the game looking up. Humans like, have that too, yeah. This is legit. That's game breaking yeah. in a game it, like this. I, Zweihander sure as shit has some fucking traits and talents that break the fucking game. Uh, and it's it's intended by Dan and Adam and Mike, uh, but fucking Christ, uh, am I in a position where I'm paying enough attention where I could? I don't know how many action points I used for running away. Would you say I used all three? No, no. Could would I be in a position where I could try and uh, dodge? I did call shots. Incoming... I announced. Oh, you can't dodge them. that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll take my one shot then. Yeah. All right. Let's see what happens. Uh, does nine points of damage do anything to you? Uh, I got to find out where my damage is. That's okay. Where is my damage? And it's fast and pummeling. So what does that mean? Fast means... It gives me a negative well, four dodging. Which means and you're not dodging. Weapon qualities always refer to BB whenever inflicting damage instead of CB. Oh, what's his BB? That might change things. Uh, nope, it's still nine. Uh, that does move me down to lightly wounded, uh, because my base damage threshold is five. Oh, we're, no chance of a wound so far. And they've all yeah. shot their crossbows, so now they have to take a turn reloading them. Those are, know. are those arbalist? Yeah. So that's four AP for reload, I think, right? Or is it three? two? Two? Oh god, damn. Two, yeah. I've got to okay. open here. It's it's the um it's the I think the smaller crossbow it takes four to reload. I, I might be. Thinking oh no, it's the blunderbuss. Uh, blunderbuss. Yeah. yeah. Light crossbows okay. too. Also, all right. So they've all shot their crossbows. Uh, one hit. So I... you hear them shouting on the other side of the wall, Waldo and Sando. Yeah, get him, get him, get him, stop the old man, and then the. Uh, Crossbow uh, bolts flying through the air and Kozel, I don't know, letting out a. Oh. <laughs> I, uh, I, I I'm standing in the saddle as I try to ride fast, but now there's a <laughs> a bolt sticking out of my bony old ass. Uh, <laughs> not much cushion anymore. There's not much cushion. It hit bone, uh, but you know I need to have that hip replaced anyway, so it's bone okay. On bone. All right, that yeah. takes us to Sando, who's convinced the. Uh, the the ones who are remaining on you to lower their weapons for the time being and they're like hey i think i recognize this guy it it, it is him it is him what is he doing in a dump like this 
In fact, yes, it is a dump, but it was the only safe refuge in the storm. Um, again, I'm just keeping them occupied. The more that are staying in here, the less they're firing at Kozel. So this, I'm entertaining them. I'm giving them the tale of our, our woeful night. You know, I'm actually, I'm not lying about it, telling them exactly how we got here, what we found. But yeah. Sorry, not very uh, action oriented, no, but you, you uh, guys are in a, in a rough situation. Uh, yep. That is for sure. I did not expect one of you to try and run when out. Kozel's on horseback, so if he's still alive, he's going to outpace them. So yeah, I'm just going. Oh yeah, he definitely mouth. will. Uh, so you want you're trying to charm them again, or just, just I'm just going to continue to keep them here, keep them enthralled. So if they're saying, "Hey, isn't that?" Yeah. Like, oh, they're already I'll interested in you. They're they're, yeah. they're recognizing you with that last roll, and that's why they've lowered their weapons. All right. So I'm not changing that tack. We're just staying the same thing. Okay. So if I can keep these three in yeah. here and occupied, that's what I'm doing. I'm not going to make you re-roll for that. That's fine. There, you already have their attention. All right. So that takes us back to Waldo, who tried to crawl over and cause a distraction. He's crawling through a trail of his own vomit. Yeah, um, uh, I'm just going to try and uh, punctuate Sandow's tail with uh, the occasional... I kept feeding him or... that soup. I hope you didn't eat any while you were here. <laughs> I will do my best best to, uh, whenever there's a pause, just moan a little bit to add to the story. Okay, let's do this. Let me put this up on the stream. All right, so Kozel... Let me get you up around there. Is that... Uh... And I'll get you, well, I guess you make an animal handle for me again. You got guys firing at you and all that good stuff. So we'll do, we'll do a challenging animal handle, please, again. You got it. Let me pull it's up. It's muddy. It's been raining nonstop. Challenging oh, animal handle. We're going to cover over Blort. We don't need to see him. He's there, but not there. Hang on. I'm getting it pulled up. Sorry for the. No, that's okay. Oh. All right. Submit. No, I'm glad I put this together for. Oh, oh. Uh, I want a fortune point, that man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. With my reroll. Fuck! Ooh. I did worse. God damn! You did oh. do worse. Oh. Do another reroll. Uh, you can only do one with a fortune point. <laughs> yeah, you have to take the second result. So you. Yep. Gonna turn the corner. You're not going to go as fast as you wanted to. Because your horse is still running. It's not a critical failure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to do that. You're going to stop right in front of the open gate. You're going to oh. be riding by the open <laughs> gate. There we go. That's what your failure is going to get you. Okay. I'm down with that. That's not bad. Not bad. Yeah. Uh, so that was Kozel. So it's their turn. So they're going to turn and see you. And they're going to open fire on you. Oh, oh, come on. We had him distracted. At least make him roll yeah. for that. <laughs> uh, I am barfing my guts out here to save Kozel's <laughs> life. I imagine like I'm riding by like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Just yelling it. And it, it, it distracted them. <laughs> but he is fast moving. They're shooting through an open gate, which is a limited view. And I'm actually going to make this arduous it's gonna be hard i'm not this is not gonna be an easy task i'm not out for blood to kill kozel <laughs> that is a miss that hey it's like sunday night all over again 80s hey all of their bolts whiz by the guys on the outside rolled an 86 minus the one twice with, i know it's stupid uh <laughs> the guys on the outside minus the one who had the broken crossbow uh, string uh have all taken the turn to reload their crossbows and which is two AP and then use the remaining AP to come back in one AP to walk in and they well, see I mean, you they like, have to like, Oh crap. They have to move oh, around crap. my body. <laughs> He's going by again, but they don't have enough AP to, um, to try and stop you. Cause on this guy is going to try and chase you on foot. He's standing in the tree. Um, yeah, that's the turn. So three of them fired at you. They all missed horribly. And uh, the the other ones who are on the outside reloaded their crossbows and moved back inside when they heard the commotion. Sandow! <laughs> Cat can't grasp is OP. Yeah. <sighs> OP. 
He's gone, folks. Just just let him go. He'll come back when his uh, he had a little something to eat here too. He's not in his right mind. He's not running out of guilt. He's running out of well paranoia. I hope you guys didn't eat anything you found in there. <laughs> As I'm to... vomiting to accentuate. <laughs> so you're you're trying to uh, convince these guys uh, now to kind of question. Yeah, that's like, yeah, again, it's like he's not in his right mind. Look, I'm only fine because I only eat the snack cakes of my family. <laughs> <laughs> the snack cakes of my family. <laughs> Turn this into an MLM meeting. <laughs> Who wants Meat- to sign up in my downstream? <laughs> Meat pie, anyone? <laughs> yeah, you want to roll for that? Sure. Uh, we're going to do hard. As Kozel continues to ride away. Sure, but which just makes it standard again, though. Yep. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, they're all of a lower s- class than you. Since yeah, Steven 29. is uh, puking to accentuate, does that count as assist? <laughs> yeah, well, that is a bonus. That. He's already he's already <laughs> nailed it, but uh, okay. <laughs> he's in with a twenty nine. That so the ones that had the attention before, they're like, hey, hey, that's Sando. That's Sando. The the heir to the the candy fortune the other's like huh <laughs> and they uh they're not watching the old man as he whizzes by with the arrow in his ass anymore they're like oh shit it is sandow so you've 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 gained their their attention all right yeah i'm just trying to convince them that like look he will eventually come back once the uh mind altering effects of whatever poison he's had <laughs> clear out He'll probably okay. fall okay. off his horse before too long. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, I see where you're going with this. Hey, Jeff, the lollygagging. Why are you not in here? You're you're a notorious DMG. You should be playing with us. We 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 need more players because uh, Seth is so unreliable. <laughs> Get in here. We gotta ask Ouch. the other guys if they want to start playing. Yeah, Next time, that there would you be go. Awesome. Jeff's there. You go. Jeff's in. All right, all right, Jeff. We'll, we'll awesome. chat in the notorious DMG uh, Discord. Get you in here. Play with Call us every me. other Thursday. <laughs> I would show this. What? It's true. Even the chat was t- commenting on Seth not showing up. To- <laughs> not just me. Yeah. I know. <laughs> no, it's honest. It's villain. fair. It's fair. <laughs> You're um, a villain look. for the police brutality. You're not a villain for that for that comment. <laughs> for the Seth. The truth Occasionally, <laughs> Seth has to give his liver a break. All right. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's just how it is. Oh. Is he here? He said he was. And I'll be just here. keep. No, he said he was going to show up. He's he's sick. Uh, all right. All right busting his chops here okay um so waldo that takes back to you do you want to change your tactics at all is there anything else you want to do i will start climbing up this guy's trousers (laughs) just start pulling myself up spewing vomit and blood just to like horrify him and hopefully gross out everyone else around that sees me doing this the one that you're standing over the one that's standing over me yes I'm just going to climb my way up. And because I'm a halfling, I, I probably won't even make it waist high anyways, but I, I just want to try and cause as much of a scene as possible. His, his, his slacks, his trousers. Yeah, I'm just, I'm literally grabbing at his legs and trying to pull myself up using his pants. His blouse. And I, I really just want to cause as big a scene as possible. Yeah, I'm not going to make you roll for that. That's fine. It's fine. All right, so you start vomiting on this guy. We're gonna deal with that. Did I make turn. it up to knee height? Yeah, yeah. You pull or yourself like up, and you're just like uncontrollably mid thigh, which is <laughs> which is what you were doing last session. Uh, that's you remember you were vomiting in the room while that spider creature yeah. was yep. in the yep. courtyard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is all in line with what happened last time, even though it was three years ago <laughs> that we played last. Um, it's like it was yesterday. Okay, yeah, I'm 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 good with that. All right, Kozel. Yeah. You want to just keep running? Forgot how to unmute. I was like, Chuck's uh, muted now. <laughs> yeah, I was muted. Uh, okay. Yes and no. I want to... Is that carriage there in real life, or is it just the, the map graphic? That was the carriage that you guys were on at in the night. Um, we abandoned that, Oh, no, that, yeah, you... You you abandoned outside though. You wrote it here. Yeah, it's it's not on okay. the map. I can move it. So I actually oh, put it on here for your okay. game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I, I okay. pulled the card here. Remember? Oh yeah, that's right. That's, yeah, right. that's right. I forgot about that. You what? beast. You I beautiful like... beast. Yeah, that's 
fantastic for me. No, no, put it back outside. There you go. Uh, what I would like to do. I was showing the stream. Is, there we go. As I ride past that, I want to try and dive into the back of the carriage and hide. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully. If you break a single bottle of alcohol that I have stashed back there, I will be pissed. That's fair. I'm hoping the horse keeps going and they'll keep going yeah, after yeah. the horse and I can hide in the, the carriage uh, and there'll be none the wiser. You bony old man with a. Arrow I'm gonna leaping so over your horse. A goddamn hick. Uh, this yeah. is more bad causal strategy right here. <laughs> that's that's my plan. Ride past, dive off, hope the horse keeps going. Um, that's such a bad plan, but let's see how it works. <laughs> so it's gonna be it's gonna be an, a hard animal handling. Okay. To jump off as you ride by. I'm, I'm I'm down with that. Let me. You're gonna snap off this? that bolt as you land. <laughs> oh man. Oh, no. Yeah. Did I say hard? Yeah, hard. Minus twenty. Yeah, hard. Yeah. We're gonna do hard. Ooh. Right there. Animal. Handle animal. Sixty-nine. It's a fail. Do you want to spend a fortune? Yes, I do. All right. I'm up to two two misfortune. Oh, and. Uh, critical oh, fail oh <laughs> uh oh why do i have such oh it's hard that's why <laughs> like i have a rank in that but yeah that's hard okay a critical fail uh am i dead <laughs> trampled instant death no that's mean I'm, i know you kind of want to <laughs> die but i'm not going to do that because it doesn't make sense uh, you just jump and break your neck when you, you hit the wagon and that's how kozel broke hip see that's where i'm <laughs> leaning to all the twitch i'm thinking he's gonna break a bone here it's a very good chance to break Ooh, and gain an injury. I am so down with that. Because you <laughs> F's are in the chat really, for Kozel's hip right there. He, you're a really old man. Like, that's legit. And you're jumping from a moving horse to a stationary object and you critically failed. I am... Okay. Oh, gonna this is... Some, you're going to take some damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I'm going to give you an injury. Oh, okay. So it's I'm down it with that. Just give you an injury? No, I'm going to do some damage. Just pick out an injury. Yeah, yeah. Give just me some pick. damage and then pick an injury. Uh, no, I wasn't going to pick one. We're going to roll. Oh, oh. Uh, what table are we rolling off of? We're, we're doing serious. Um, serious injury. You take um, Eight points of Is damage. Is there comical injury? Eight points of damage does table? move me down to moderate. You receive a hemorrhaging anus. All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> How did he land? On what? Uh, I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll that for the moderate. Went injury right table. through. Okay. Wine bottle right there. <laughs> All right. So serious injury. You're gonna have a serious injury. From, oh man. From this. So go okay. ahead and roll me d100. You decide. D100. Oh man. Critical failure. 44 minor concussion until fully recuperated you re you remain incapacitated all right so kozel you made it hey. well no you're <laughs> right next to so me you're lying you're lying in the, the horse continued riding or running uh -huh. and you're lying mm -hmm. in the mud uh with like one of your legs like perched up on the carriage you kind of miss <laughs> it's sitting there in the air and um You've got a really bad headache. You really want to go to sleep. <laughs> Hit your oh. head really hard against the side oh. of that wagon. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that's bad. Like I'm incapacitated. I auto fail all skill checks, right? Yes. To move to recuperation, I have to have some heel checks put on me, right? And our, our barber surgeon over there is fucking amputation <laughs> happy. <laughs> Oh god! How do I get rid of the concussion? How do you fix a so head injury with a bone saw? You oh, cut it he's out. He's incapacitated, so he's automatically going to fail all of his rolls, <laughs> right? Oh god! He's auto failing because you're both. I have to be able to hold the bone saw before I can use the bone saw. You shaking okay. like that? Oh, that's beautiful. Absolutely cool. beautiful. <laughs> this guy's using his phone when he comes around the corner, and he sees the horse running away. And he shouts, the old man is down. <laughs> he, I think he's dead. 
<laughs> that's what I turned to him and say, I told you. <laughs> I think oh. he's dead. Oh, God, this is beautiful. All right, oh, Swin so runs back in and saves us all. So the one that you're vomiting on, um, Waldo. I, couldn't I like the name. symbol you put on there. Do you? That line's supposed to be vomit. <laughs> yeah, I got <laughs> it. Like I got that? it. Yeah. He is. He is um, not able to do anything. He's so consumed with you vomiting on him and kind of like pushing away and like, oh, get out of here. But the others are like, what? Dead old man. And they start running across the courtyard. This one will stay here and like, hey. Candyman, I'm watching you. <laughs> uh, they start running over and they start, they, they can't make it all the way over there. So we'll go back to you, Sando. You hear them shout, the old man's off the horse and I think he's dead. Let's just make this horse. Stay away from his legs. He plays possum real well. He might kick you in the shins. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to do anything other than that? Um, actually, I would like to start walking in that direction, uh, slowly looking at the guy that's following me. It, it, he is part of my entourage. Can I check on him? <laughs> yeah, you can go ahead. You want to try and convince these guys to let you go over there? Yeah. Come along. You come too. <laughs> you want another roll? Yeah. Um, we're going to do hard again, so it'll just downgrade it by two, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, the guy's got his gun trained on you, but he's he's walking with you as you walk. Yeah, of course. But uh, he's allowing you to go. He's allowing you to break off. Because he, he's he's curious also. <laughs> oh, I'm, I, I'm dragging uh, my sick friend. <laughs> All right, you're dragging him through the mud, and this guy's, this guy's still wiping. He's got like a trail of wiping. vomit. <laughs> yeah, the other guy's still wiping the vomit off his, uh, his pants and cursing you. His gun. Yeah, yeah, his crossbow. There are guns in this. <laughs> there are guns. Uh, who is pulling me? Sando me. is? Sando yeah. is pulling okay. you. What are you pulling me by? Oh, we, we've established this. We've got the extra thick collar on your shirt. I always okay. grab you Okay, there. <laughs> okay. Just want to make sure. The guy who's vomiting on Just wanted to know head. which direction I was vomiting. I didn't know if like my face <laughs> was just being planted as you're pulling by my ankle or what. Oh, you're vomiting down. I got you back the, by the neck of your uh, shirt. <laughs> you're being dragged with your toes in the ground, you know. Just... <laughs> Waldo, do you want to do anything else in your turn? I'm going to take us out of initiative order at this yeah, point. I... Does, that, uh, does that make sense? We can always that, go back That's to fair. It. That's fair. We can always hop back to it because um, it, it doesn't change. It remains the same. All right. So you're going to do anything or are you just kind of just throwing up? And... I'm vomiting. Ooh, okay. Um, Hey, actually, this is the direction the spider thingy went, right? The spider thingy because went Because it north. went on the roof. It went, it, it came oh, up yeah, on the roof here, right? And it came yeah, down. Seth, Seth chased it, but yeah, it came <sighs> down. And you guys were on the second right. floor here, and you, you walked out on right there and lowered yourselves down. So as we're passing this corner, I will point out, look, the, the thing that uh, my other lost friend was chasing uh, came down around this side. Uh, is there any marks down here? Because the thing had blood everywhere. Maybe there's some blood left on the side of this building. Like way it far was up. Hev- that would... It was heavily raining the night before. So it's, it's doubtful. No, there's no, uh, okay. no blood. Well, if it was raining heavily the night before, it might have left indentations in the dirt that look odd. It might have. It might have. Some spider legs is what yeah. you're saying. It's a little Yeah. Uh let's roll for it. Let's let's use a trick that uh, Bert taught us. Higher low, Bert, higher low. Hi. There are oh. no prints in the mud, unfortunately. Alright. Okay, so you guys come around the corner, they all come around the corner. All of you. And um yeah, Kozel's lying there and he's just kind of moaning. <laughs> He's not dead. He's still breathing. I don't feel so good, man. But he's really hurt. I can help help him. Uh, Uh, Yeah, is there a doctor? Is there a doctor here? Oh, no. (laughs) Before uh, before you can say anything, I just push your face down in the mud. (laughs) (laughs) 
so you will uh, not allow Waldo fantastic. to to operate. I'm now drowning in mud. With that is perfect. Saw, like, <laughs> who's just lying there moaning? You're conscious. As I said, I would struggle, uh, but I would lose the check. He's sick. He <laughs> ate the he ate uh, from the menu of this fine place as well. He hasn't been in his right mind for the last many hours. Hey man, I feel so good. Ain't don't ain't I, man? <laughs> <laughs> the lead warden says all right gather the horses haul them inside this car- caravan we're taking them to the nearest outpost so they can uh, await uh being taken to the the closest city for trial and uh they walk over and they start to shackle the uh each of you and toss you in the back of the wagon and they hook Do they, they don't have uh, halfling size shackles yeah. oh, no. or ogre size <laughs> ogres- shackles <laughs> yeah, that's right they have to put two together for you or do they do they have old man size shackles? They have old man size shackles. <laughs> <laughs> the deserter definitely gets shackled. <laughs> I'm a flight risk. If they're throwing me in the back of the wagon, uh, I really am going to do my best to just open up a bottle and start drinking because they say you got to drown the flu. I thought you were going to say I'm going to do my best to try and operate on Kozel. <laughs> I got to get better first. I am so glad those aren't the words that came out of your mouth. <laughs> Kozel, do you have smelling salts? No, I don't. I checked earlier, and I do not. To uh, say no? Uh, you know, maybe. Let me see. Well, smelling salts quick. won't help Kozel. They will help Oh, Waldo. They'll help your doctor. Yeah. Trappings, he, coin purse, concussed. fancy shoes, clothing, foppish hat. Oh, I have my foppish hat. Mandrake root. What does that do? If you gnaw on that, it'll actually help with your peril track. Doesn't it add plus one to the track? Uh, I believe. I don't remember. Some I know my guys used it in the our last game. I think it adds plus one or plus two to the to the track, so it's harder to get peril slightly. Right, so it doesn't help after the fact. No. All, all right. I got is Wolf Spain, which will not help at all. I uh, uncork a few bottles and just hand them out. It's like, it's a long ride, buddies. <laughs> Might as well make the most of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, through the curtain in the front, I'll hand a bottle to the guys. <laughs> to the guys up there. Here you go, fellas. Yeah. Ask them if they have smelling salts. That's a good question. Actually, I do. Uh uh, do any of you have medical training or anything to aid my friends here? I'm afraid that we'll be uh, neck deep in vomit soon if we don't do something. They do not. I'm using, looking at the trappings for the stats I'm using. I'm using actual stats here. They do not have smelling salts on them. These are just... What kind of unprepared rewards. jerks? <laughs> I do, I do want to to add in that, you know... Head injuries, uh, vomiting often goes hand in hand with those. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I just gonna I'm gonna hang my head out of the back of the wagon and just leave a fucking trail uh, as we ride along. So he- I'm also a sympathetic sympathetic vomiter. <laughs> so <laughs> despite me already Ooh. being sick, seeing someone else just makes it worse. I do call out to remind the guards. As I said, we weren't alone in these woods. Be on your guard, folks. Be on your guard. So, Kozel, I guess, guns. We'll be I guess you also gain nine, or no, not nine, six, don't you, from the uh, moderate injury? Oh, that sounds that fantastic. Serious injury. It's nine corruption for Grievous. Uh, you said six corruption? Six corruption. So, for Kozel to be treated, it can only be attempted. Uh, once every 24 hours and he is going to need uh, he is going to need to be have healing rolled on him well i can do that uh, <laughs> i know i know when you're better you know Kozel, going into this session i really didn't want you to die but now that i'm treating you <laughs> it's gonna happen <laughs> yeah i'm gonna die <laughs> i can't break character i can't break character so you need to I, have i'm down one with rank that. in healing a seed pod of opium and be left uninterrupted for at least 10 minutes. <laughs> Wait, what are you doing we, to me? We need opium. This is to treat your... I'm just reading treating injuries. So you need some opium. I have a rank in healing. It's, it's I'm sorry. 10 days Alone for 10 minutes with opium? Uh, yeah. That doesn't sound like healing that's going on. Yeah. It does yeah, sound like Waldo. Kozel. Yeah, that's, yeah, Kozel, just give me the opium. Just give, give that to me. <laughs> if I gotta go, I'm gonna go happy. 
<laughs> okay, so they throw you in the cart. They take you down the road. You guys travel for a few hours. And, and as I said, I do call out and remind them that we said we weren't alone out here. Uh, there are things. Things out in the wilderness. <laughs> there are things. Yes. Oh, Jeff also says uh, luck of the gods is also needed. You're not wrong, Jeff. All right. So uh, they bring you down the road. And after after a couple hours, you guys uh, come to a small roadside warden outpost. It's There's not much to it. This is where it looks like they would gather up criminals and local uh, bandits and things like that they find on the road. Throw them in just like a little jail. And then they'd be taken away to trial to the nearest uh, town or city from here. More of a layover station. So they bring you in there. It's a just a little one-story shack. They bring you in. There's three cells in there. And two of the cells already have people in them. It's like, ah, damn, I forgot these two were still in here. We'll have to put all three of these guys in one cell. It's not like they're going to do much anyways. Two of them are in One of them's vomiting uncontrollably. The old man's probably going to die tonight. Hey, you can't tell me day what it is you <laughs> how long do i need before i am healed uh curious so you just need to rest uh from yours because I, I did kind hours. of rest in the tavern we slept a little bit did you you guys fled in the night you slept a little bit yeah yeah you slept a little bit but it wasn't uninterrupted you guys woke up okay, to, okay. there's the plan with the box and this this and that and you heard someone right. outside your door and then the spider thing in the courtyard and then you left and you rode through and the night and the the wagon ride was only just a couple of hours so that wasn't nearly enough okay um so in the cells next to you there's uh there's two interesting characters there's a dumpy looking little dwarf with a scraggly beard and he's a skinny little thing and it's unusual for a dwarf, but he's got like, uh, like really, really, like bright, rich blonde hair for a dwarf, and the other one's kind of a, a goofy-looking middle-aged human. He's got a, you know, a, a mouth full of missing teeth. There's the odd tooth here and there, and he's cross-eyed, and uh, he's got a Go, big fellow entertainers, wi widow's peak, <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, they, they just kind of eye the group of you and they look at each other. You, you notice them look at each other and kind of nod as you're brought in. And yeah, the wardens are complaining like, ah, when's the next wagon coming through to haul these guys off? And they're like, ah, two, two days time, two days. And um, two of them stay behind and they uh, they go to one of the one of the waiting rooms. They go to process the paperwork and uh, the others take off and they go back onto the road to keep... Um, keep patrolling the roads. So there's two road wardens that are left here with you guys, but they've gone into a separate room. So you're left in this, this cell area. There's three cells in total with these, these two other characters, characters. Well, I'm just going to get started on my nap, my six hour nap. It's going to lie down. Is that what it is? Chuck off the top of your head. I looked it up the other day, incapacitation from peril. And I think it's, just but if you yeah you just move up the peril condition track if you can rest in a place where you're safe for the night so as long as he can catch some sleep for the night he should move back to i could be wrong no i, I think you're i think you're right i'm just gonna quickly flip to it i did look it up on sunday also because all my guys are near incapacitated on the peril track so i yeah. specifically looked it up the other night because i was like oh they're they're hoop they need to get better it's incapacitated like you can still walk and shit, but you're so fucked on everything. I am marked as seriously wounded right now. What? What? When did I hurt you? I think when I was going out of the building. Did you actually I got, fall there? Oh. I took some damage then. Yeah. Hurt a rib or something. Okay. Jeff, you're here in chat. Tell me. Jeff's already always got all the answers. I just want to confirm for you. Uh, Peril track 267. Let me consult the book quickly. Sorry, folks. That doesn't work for me. I've got the, the phone PDF, so I've got like a thousand some pages. Rest to recover. You can improve your condition on a peril condition track with rest. To recover, you must find a place of warmth and safety and then sleep. But you're, you're in a safe place. You're in a jail cell surrounded by wardens. You're in a safe place. Um, this can be around a fire. For, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... No danger to your persons, and you must get at least six hours. There you go. Six hours of uninterrupted sleep. After resting, you move all steps up the peril condition. So you need six hours of sleep in a safe place. You're there. Okay. That's nice. How do I go down on the damage condition track? 
You got to get healed. Someone's got to do a heal check on you. That's what I thought, Jeff. Thank you. Yeah, I specifically and I do it on myself Sunday for my guys. I was like, uh, no. I'm actually trained in heal. So if you fix me, I'll fix you. Oh, uh, I'm going to fix you. <laughs> of course, for <laughs> Kozel, that comes out like, I heal fix you. Uh, yeah. Kozel's gone cross eyed. I'm also. sleeping right now, anyways. Day I'm too seven. unconscious to know. Yeah, man. So there's no cots. There's no nothing. There's some straw. So you just curl up in some straw and. Did I ask if there was a cot? I just said I was taking a nap. All right, so you're just going to curl up on <laughs> right the stone, on the floor. stone floor and just... <laughs> Wherever just Sandow drops me is where <laughs> I am staying. <laughs> That's it. And sleep all the way up the heel. Yeah, Not yeah. even going to turn over. Just however he lays me down is where I'm going to be. <laughs> so, like, after after all the excitement, because you met these guys on the road in the morning, you went back there, this all happened. It's, it's mid-late afternoon at this point. We're going to say it's like 3 p.m. So... Waldo, you're just out. You're sleeping. Take is it still raining? Into... It's not raining. It's a bright, sunshiny day now that you're in jail. <laughs> Always Fitting. stuck inside Fitting. on the nice days. <laughs> right? You're sleeping and uh, the goofy looking human is uh, in the cell next to you. And he he uh, he walks over. He's got a he's got a, a limp leg and he's like, what? what? What are you guys in here for? What did you do? Uh, I'm glad you clarified. I thought you were talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> unless they took it away, I'll pass him the wine bottle. <laughs> yeah. No, they actually they left the wine bottle. You guys are in pretty rough yeah. shape. And I'm gonna say, due to your social standings and them recognizing who you were, you were able to leverage a little bit of a, a little bit of perks as a prisoner. So they left the wine bottle with you. I'm, I'm okay with that. I'll pass Do the wine the bottle. Saw? Wrong place, wrong time. Am I right? <laughs> his eyes widen he smiles and that's when you see like this big like just like there's three teeth in his mouth here and there and black gums like oh yeah i know i know exactly and he grabs it and starts swinging and it's just all over his face and down his chest and he's just <laughs> this thing down chugging it down and wipes his mouth with the side of his arm and hands it back to you i know exactly what you mean me here and my cousin kit Solano, we got ourselves in a bit of a pickle and now we're here just like you what 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 are you fellas what did you do uh, oh well they said we killed a bunch of people figure that <laughs> <laughs> did, the... did, he looks shocked so, did you did you kill some people no oh, no 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 percentage in that Nah. what do we do kozel you tell them <laughs> Uh, now, mind you, I still have a concussion, but at the mention of those two being cousins, uh, I would respond along the lines of like, cousin, you now born <laughs> kiss pub. What? <laughs> so remember one of them's a dwarf and one of them's a human and <laughs> they're cousins. I wouldn't catch that. Mainly. I was just asking if they have like, you know, like one of those paid for sites, uh, <laughs> That's it, yeah. <laughs> Paid for sites? What? What are you asking? I, I, I'm making a I stupid porn joke. Don't just keep moving. <laughs> just like, I, keep I moving. Is he okay? <laughs> no, no, you no. Both my friends are, are quite ill. Quite ill. We stopped at a uh what is that? A coaching inn? Is that what it was? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would like to, yeah. to vomit to punctuate his sentence. I had a coaching, <laughs> coaching. inn. <laughs> Proprietors tried to poison us all, tried to kill us. Bunch of mutants, I think. Mutants? Are you kidding? You hear that, cuz? Mutant? Cousin, come on over here. Have some wine. Uh, the <laughs> the the grumpy looking dwarf sitting there with his arms crossed in a corner, and he's just kind of scowling. He's scowling more at the at the the human who has introduced himself and uh, talking to you guys than than anything else. Wine? <laughs> he. he perks up and he wanders over it's got to go through the cell of the guy who's talking to you he uh he, he wanders over he goes uh, hand that over hey, give me some of that wine hand i'm stuck over. here with this imbecile uh, so at least this will uh you know help pass the time and i don't have to listen to this idiot just talk to me incessantly the whole time so what lands you in this fair cell uh, he even goes, well, we, we were in a nearby little village. There's rumor, rumors that 
there's some old world artifacts that they're housing there. So we we broke into one of the farms to try and find them. But uh, we uh, we there got caught, and uh, they thought we were stealing their animals. Uh, how exactly are you going to take a cow with you? Why in the world would they think you were stealing animals? I mean, maybe a chicken, I guess. <laughs> well, I might have been in the... Well, let's not... Let's, uh, let's just say it was a mistake. There's uh, Mistakes were made, and... Uh... <laughs> And the dwarf's like, this idiot got us caught. He had chickens under his arms. He was riding horses. He was on cows, milking cows. I don't know what this bumbling fool's doing. Farmer came out and said, I don't got any cows. They're only bulls. <laughs> milking bulls. <laughs> exactly. I like, I like that one. <laughs> I like you. That's a strange offense, of, to be sure. Ropery. How long have you been in here? Well, we just uh, we just brought in uh, last night, says the dwarf. Listen, there, uh, there was three of us. There was our other cousin. He got away. Now, while uh, these wardens were out uh, doing their, their thing with you guys, cousin, he, uh, he was chatting us through the through that there window and he points to the barred window and we got our we got ourselves a plan we're gonna try and get out of here tonight you fellas you fellas want in you want to you want to help us we trust you you think they're gonna leave us all here all day long I mean, well it's late new day the sun's shining it's late in the day when when did they say the next wagon was coming along to uh to take us away i don't think they said did they do we hear them talk they did. They actually mentioned along the road that it was a couple days away. A couple, days, a couple away. days before it arrived. Well, I don't fancy the decor of where we find ourselves. So, yes, yes. I think we would be very interested in helping. I would be interested in helping. My friends here just really need to sleep it off. Well, uh, it Kozel will yell, will yell out. They, they said boxing. No, wrestling day. That's <laughs> day when you... Yeah. <laughs> Wrestle, what? Wrestling day? Where is what region is that man from? Neither of you Canada. are uh physicians, are you? Uh, skilled at healing any chance? The dwarf shakes his head no, but the the toothless cross-eyed guy goes, I could try. <laughs> the guy that was milking cows. Yeah, the guy who's milking bulls. <laughs> I could always try. What's what what ails them? Uh, as I said, uh, they were poisoned. Poisoned by the uh, shopkeep of that uh, coaching in. Pretty sure he was a mutant too. The dwarf shouts, if you're wise, you wouldn't let him touch your friends. <laughs> He's a fool. <laughs> <laughs> let me have a look at him. I'm now thinking that maybe these two are cousins. With... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and so they go, hey, hey, look, our other cousin, he's going to come back in the night. If it's anything like last night, there's only, we got two guards here now, and that's that, that's the watch for the night. And they'll come check on us occasionally. They, they, maybe they're, they fall asleep. Well, I don't know. They're in that other room there. So we need a distraction. And then our other cousin's going to try and try and break us out or, or come in here and, uh, and, and uh, rescue us. You know what I mean? You know, if we can maybe... Uh, distract or incapacitate those guards in some some manner and then our cousin could come in here and and get us out of the night what do you what do you what do you fellas think could can we trust you well <laughs> who can you trust if you can't trust your fellow inmate <laughs> say how many know guards you, do i know you from somewhere <laughs> have we uh how many guards have we seen that have been in and out here today so you guys have just gotten here um, just gotten here barely okay. any time has passed your your cellmates are introducing themselves and waldo's curled up and kozel's talking gibberish and yeah so not much time has passed but you did so majority of the wardens have left they've gone back on patrol and there's two wardens that are left in this this little road stop warden office slash jail actually i'll try and call one of the wardens over um, they didn't, he didn't uh, say they searched us or anything, right? So I assume we have everything on us, uh, other than obvious weapons. They would have taken your weapons from you, yes. Right, but yes. everything else, right? Yeah, your bone saw is also gone, Waldo, sorry. 
You jerk. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, your your trinkets and all that, they're they're on you. Yep. All right. Uh I'll, I'll see if I can't get one of the guards' attention. And uh look, uh friend, uh my my two associates here are not doing so well. Does this little stopover have someone that can do some healing? Um I'll flash a couple of silver coins. Are you asking this of the guard? Yeah. Uh yeah, yeah. One of the guards comes, What's the racket? What's the racket? What do you want? He comes out and he's he's got his hand on the on the handle of his uh on his sword. What's going on here? Don't make me use this. Did they search us? Uh just fear what they took your weapons off of you. Did they take my jar of animal fat out of my pocket? No. I guess cat handed grasp on him. <laughs> but don't don't you fail everything? I oh, do except old for old loser. believer. Son of I a bitch. <laughs> auto succeed <laughs> critically. So you're what? His sword is inside of its sheath and he's got his hand on it. Is it just gonna fly out? Uh his sword's gonna fly out of his hand and he's gonna fall on the ground. <laughs> You're in so much trouble. Why do you keep doing this? You're in the lion's den. <laughs> they needed a distraction. I am distracting. Not now. The cousin's not there. <laughs> oh, I wasn't paying attention. I just look up. Not speaking of not paying, I look up. I look up at my OBS overlay here, and I look at the chat, and it looks right at you. Receive hemorrhaging anus is the first thing I look at when you're, when you're casting this. Uh, <laughs> I right, am well, so he sorry, his Bert. sword flies out. His sword flies uh, <laughs> out of his hands and clangs across uh, against the bars, and he just drops the gun. What? What in the hell? What is going on? I you... I'll reach down, pick up his sword, uh, and just kind of hand it back to him. Say, "You drop this." Um... <laughs> right. He he starts to pull himself up, and he looks a little embarrassed. He looks at the group of you and kind of dusts himself off. Hey. No word here, of this. Here. You didn't see anything. And he reaches over and takes the I saw nothing, and... of course. Look, look, my friends here are in desperate need of some healing. Is there perhaps someone skilled in the art of healing that we might be able to uh, see? Uh, I can make it worth your while. And I'll, I'll pass him a few silver. Yeah, he looks at silver and he looks his lips. and Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think we've got... Um... Yeah, yeah, we we have a surgeon's kit or something. We got some medical supplies in case of uh, injuries on the road. And he takes snatches of silver up, and he says, "I'll be, I'll, I'll, I'll be right back." And he goes into the other room and slams the door. And you can hear him talking to the other one, muffled through the door for a little bit. And that goofy guy, what happened there? What was that all about? Apparently, they don't clean their cells very well, or the outsides, I guess. What hey, slippery you butt why <laughs> hands the dwarf is standing in his arms crossed like what are you what are you getting up to here what, what, should we should wait for our cousin to come help us oh Don't we'll distract to... later but i need my friends here to be in a bit better shape before we run for it are either of you injured no he is in the head he points to the idiot <laughs> the clear idiot the healer yeah the, the heal i'll try and heal you <laughs> Um, yeah, after a moment or two, the, uh, the warden comes back and he's, he's got some supplies under his arm and he's like, all right, what's, what's, what's the problem here? What's the problem? Who needs healing? So Kozel's the one who's actually physically beaten up all to hell, right? Yes. Yes. All yes. Right. Kozel. So Tuesday. <laughs> so this I one mean, needs I'm on the wounded track as well. Yeah. This oh, one oh, needs, yeah. needs attending to, and this one is not so well off either. I didn't roll for injuries on you. That's all right, Waldo. That was a missed opportunity. <laughs> all right, he goes, uh, oh, all right, all right. Well, hey, Hans, Hans, get in here. And the other guy comes in and he goes, watch these, watch these ones. I'm going to, I'm going to pull one of them out. We're going to try and uh, administer some healing on him. Aim a crossbow at that cell while I while I pull this one out and we'll we'll tempt it here. So one of the guys goes over, 
He takes a key, unlocks the door. Other one's sitting there with a crossbow trained on your cell. And uh, the guy who unlocks the door goes in there and he grabs Kozel and starts to haul him out and quickly slam the door and lock the two of you back in there, Waldo and Bert. Kozel, now behave. He's here to help you. (laughs) All right. Chuck's like, I cast uh, on the crossbow guy. Uh, (laughs) No. He goes, all right, what's... What's wrong with this one? What's wrong with you? He looks at you, Kozel. You Problem. face wrong guy. You what? Huh? <laughs> he took and a fall I, from I a horse. A little. <laughs> so he looks you over and he goes into the surgeon's kit and he uh, he has a tincture and uh, he's got some healing and he uh, he wraps some bandages around your head and he gives you some something to help with the pain and it uh it seems to help he passes his role do i move into like what are you doing with the injury there so by by the rules if he treats my injury it would be 1d 10 days of recuperation yeah where i'm still an effect of the injury but it's uh on the meds 1d 10 plus one Yep. Too bad you didn't have a critical roll of one. Yeah. All right. 1d10 plus one. Seven days. Eight days. Eight. Oh, yeah. No, I got a plus one. No, you're right. You're right. right. (laughs) It's something. (laughs) Uh, I. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> yeah <laughs> so you're 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 stabilized you bandaged I'll take up that. i'll you take that yeah tincture you're doing much better um interesting all right waldo do you want to are they gonna are they gonna disrupt you from your sleeping to try and heal you that's up to them i'm asleep So with a tincture kozel, you get to ignore the injury's effects for 24 hours, but you suffer one corruption. So if you accept oh, the use of a tincture, you that. get you get give yourself another corruption. Yep, I'm up to seven. But um, <laughs> but you're now ignoring your injury for 24, for 24 hours, hours out of the now. seven days that yep. I I'll I'll take that I'll take that uh, I can stop speaking gibberish. Hey man, like <laughs> ow. <laughs> the fool and hey he talks different <laughs> all right so they take you and they throw you back in the cell and they lock it or they ask you uh, what about the other one you said your other friend was hurt what about him oh uh, yes him too please all right so they walk over and he he hits you he kind of kicks you with his foot to wake you up oh get out of here i'm gonna look you over and he drags you out of the cell also and he's gonna administer some healing on you Let's I see. think I'm too weak to fight, so. He is also successful. You don't have an injury, though, do you? No, I, I'm just seriously wounded. All right, so he treats your your wounds. No injuries. Hmm. Interesting. And he gives you some laudanum. So you I like that. The damage uh, condition track positively, but suffer a corruption. So I would go from serious to moderate. Yep. All right, Matt. Here's my next gambit. <laughs> am I? I'm sorry. One second. Am I still incapacitated? Like, am I still vomiting? You're not vomiting anymore. That was from the poison. I'm going to say the poison's worked its way out of your system. And you move up one track. So you were at what? Seriously? Right. So it moved you up to moderate. And then he gave you some laudanum, which has now moved you to lightly wounded. But the laudanum only is temporary. So when it wears off, it's like his tincture. When the laudanum wears off in 24 hours, you're going to move back down to moderately wounded. So right now, though, for the next 24 hours, you're lightly wounded. 
That makes sense. <coughs> yeah. Okay. All right, Bert. Sandow. Yeah, so here's the next gambit is like you you did me a solid my friends i tell you what i give i, I toss out some more silver so i don't have to get too close to them <laughs> you know the wagon that you brought us in on is filled with some particularly fine wines i think you fellows have earned yourselves oh, a drink <laughs> tell you what roll me an easy charm Not my wine. Yeah. Well, yeah, now that Waldo's awake. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, that's good. Reading an 81. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're like, uh, both of them are like licking their lips and uh, they're looking anxious. Uh, what, uh, some fine wine? Uh, uh, this this uh, this outpost is, is, is a try. Um, how much, how much gonna... is on there? Do, 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 the, others, do the others know? Of nothing nothing not. it, no. it's the worst stuff it, it's not even wine it's like water I really it, it's clamp just... my hand over its face <laughs> <laughs> um, wine would turn to vinegar man not water and you know they are confiscated goods i mean you really should check them yeah yeah yeah, it's, uh, yeah they look i am not... biting sandow's hand it's right not... now yeah it's like a, a trickle of blood <laughs> you're biting so hard i will chew my way through his <laughs> wrist <laughs> you, you realize that my skin is considered armor right <laughs> i have an unstoppable will right now <laughs> what's your brawn what's your brawn you get a runny little uh <laughs> you get a one of his teeth remains afterwards yes i got this left in his hand finger I got a three brawn bonus, you know, that's, yeah. Um, so yeah, they're, they're really, they're like, oh yeah, 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 he's right. He's right. Um, so yeah, you're sure, you're sure the captain doesn't know about her. The others aren't, aren't aware of this. They don't know. <laughs> if they knew about it, you really think they would still be back there? No, hmm. no, no, that's a, that's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah. Um, um, how your, your friends are okay. You guys are all you guys are all right now? And then the idiot is like, I I could use so shut up, shut up you and takes his sword and bangs it across the bars. Shut up. Hey man, like I've seen worse. The bull milker. Shut up. (laughs) (laughs) I I can cast like cat handed grass man, but he like he casted a different variant of it, man. Like what? What what that was cock handed grasp. He's a musician. He's talking about an instrument. Oh, spell cat! What is this? What is this heresy? What is this? It's like, hey, he's man. a musician. He's talking right. about an instrument. Yeah, like, like <laughs> I fiddle and like, man, like so many fingers and like strings, man. Don't you worry, man. Like, don't I, don't talk about me, man. That guy's touching like like penises, man. Like. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's got he's got a head injury let's forget about that fool <laughs> you're, you're all bandaged up around your head this big bloody wound yeah yeah yeah, Blood's yeah, like yeah spilling through yeah so uh yeah yeah it's it's getting like four or five ish um what, well though, my friend you... there's far too much wine for them to drink at all <laughs> you'll have some left i am not right talking right? to you right now <laughs> Do you like when? When are they back for the watch? When? Uh, four, four, five hours? Five hours? Is that it? no? No, no. Are they gone for the night? Yeah. yeah okay. Okay. Uh, 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 we're gonna serve you. You'll get your your meal served momentarily. Uh, and one of the guys scuttles off and comes back with some stale bread and just throws it into the <laughs> and the and one cup of water for all three of you. Uh, in water. Your we have wine and uh say so, hey uh listen we've got a lot of paperwork to uh to go through tonight <laughs> so don't bother us okay don't bother us again and it'll uh it'll work out in your favor so uh, hey guys you understand? like i got some mushrooms we can eat with this bread man you're talking <laughs> to your i'm friends? all for it yeah I, i'm <laughs> sober so and i am like, upset ah. <laughs> like, ah. <laughs> yeah man so, uh, like Saved a little wine for you, Waldo. <laughs> <laughs> so they give you your meal, and they're like, "Yeah, don't bother us. Don't bother us for the night. We got a lot of paperwork to process with, uh, with uh, you know, the situation the three of you were in when we found you." Uh, just wait, man. Are you saying don't bother you, man? Because you just want to get drunk? Uh, no, no. Hey, stop! And they bangs his sword across the bar. It's quiet, old man. 
hey man like no judgment here man like do you like (laughs) do you want me to put this arrow back where i found it hey man like leave my butt out of this man (laughs) (laughs) like no judgments but i i you know yeah (laughs) <laughs> all right like, all right fine uh and they they scuttle out and they close the door behind them and they disappear for the the the, the next few hours and uh that is a good point to end because we're at uh three minutes we're to, at time to 10 well 10, 10 my time different time everyone lives Everyone lives. lives. That was fucking puzzle. great, Matt. Well, great we don't know what's going on with Blort. He might have died mid-session. Yeah. Have. Oh yeah. shit! I wasn't I even thinking about Blort. Blort. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's maybe great. Blort's their cousin. He's gonna come rescue you in the. <laughs> oh shit! Blort's <laughs> just out of the campaign now. He's lost in the woods forever. <laughs> Naked. Blort shows up like I've been lost. <laughs> Naked and afraid in the woods. I hooked up with this half spider, half human babe. We've got like <laughs> sixteen hundred children, <laughs> beautiful babies. <laughs> we made oh. beautiful, beautiful babies. <laughs> oh, they're cute little eyes. Oh, that's so beautiful. Uh, Absolutely. All right, so oh. let's try and let's try and organize this again in two weeks' time. Uh, uh, so what's happening next here. Thursday? What do we ask? You're not going to be here on the nineteenth. I said I will be. <laughs> you will be. Everybody good for the nineteenth? Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm I'm down. Whatever so the fucking try, day is, I'm down. Let's try. We might be able to get Jeff. We'll find Jeff out. Of the Lollygaggers. Oh, he's still here. Oh. Could be the cousin. He's he's in Notorious DMG. He's the cousin. Yeah. And you know, I've been I've been wanting to get Jeff into a game here, even on the channel. Regardless. So yeah, Jeff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay, Jeff. We got to get you in here. There we man, go. For next. All right, man. Not next Thursday. Thursday after. Thursday. Right, show up next Thursday. Oh, you're not available next. I'm Thursday. not. So if you guys, you guys, you guys might run. So you guys are gonna run something in Trace DMG. I don't want to run Star Wars, Star Wars without you, I man. Know, I really want to play. That's fucking dirty. I refuse to run Star Wars without you as my player. Oh, thank you. You guys can uh, do something. Yeah. Else. Cyber I'll run it. I don't care. I'll take a nap. You I got a bitch, Steven. <laughs> <laughs> you were my favorite notorious DMG, not anymore. Uh, <laughs> um, all right. So, yeah, that's what we got going uh, on. Do you guys want to remind everybody where to find you before we sign off? Google. Google Steven, the DM on YouTube. Bert yep. is uh, of Steam, Steel, and Murder uh, on various podcast platforms right they can find you yeah, just about all, all over the place and green bag instead of purple and because <laughs> apple apple crown is the best crown. oh i haven't had apple. oh that's the label the back label. Drink <laughs> bottle? oh i gotta catch up to you all right <laughs> well, oh, that way he doesn't have to get refills and Chuck, defenders mm-hmm. of kobold on twitch and youtube Accurate. and podcast Very... <laughs> also. yeah i got a podcast man i've made 35 cents off that podcast <laughs> so do we want to do you want to do do any of us anybody want to stick around and jump over for a little bit on notorious dmg channel? i'm down i I'm, i gotta go i gotta work in the morning i do, yeah, too, I do too, but i can stick for just a feel a little bit i guess okay. yeah, a little bit i got that also so we're, what, what's what's the link to our channel <laughs> notorious dmg tv at twitch.com slash notorious dmg tv all right i'm gonna link in the Does chat come here. through yeah yeah dmg tv um, I need to open OBS and hopefully not interrupt. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to go get another drink and all that. So let me put this here in the chat. All right, so a bunch of us or a few of us are heading over to Notorious DMG TV. And we're going to do a little uh, Notorious After Dark, Notorious at Night. We're yeah. going to chat and shoot the shit and talk some games and whatever. So if anybody wants to come over and join us, you're more than welcome to. And uh, yeah, we'll be over there. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in and joining us for another session of Blood, Sweets, and Laudanum. Have a good night. It's good to be back. Yeah, this was fucking great.